Unfortunately, the most incredible moment in the history of the Champions League, I didn't actually see it. Maybe this is a good metaphor for the life of a football manager, I don't know. But I completely missed Trent Alexander-Arnold's moment of pure genius. I saw the ball go out for a corner, I saw Trent walking over to take it, I saw Shakiri following him, but then I turned my back because we were preparing to make a substitution. I was talking to my assistant, and you know, I have goosebumps every time I think about it. I just heard the noise. I turned to the pitch and I saw the ball flying into the goal. I turned back to our bench and I looked at Ben Woodburn and he said, what just happened? And I said, I have no idea. Anfield was going boof, absolutely crazy. I could barely hear my assistant and he was yelling, so do we still make the substitute? Haha, <laughs> I will never forget him saying that. That will always be with me. Can you imagine? 18 years as a manager, millions of hours watching this game, and I missed the cheekiest thing that has ever happened on a football pitch. Since that night, I've probably watched the video of Divock's goal 500,000 times, but in person, I only saw the ball hit the net. When I got back to my little boot room after the match, I didn't even have a sip of beer. I didn't need it. I sat there with a bottle of water in silence, just smiling. It was a feeling that I cannot describe in words. When I got back home, my family and friends were all staying over at our house and everyone was in a big party mood. But I was so emotionally exhausted that I went up to bed by myself. My body and mind were completely empty. I had the best sleep of my life. The best moment was waking up the next morning and realizing, it's still true, it really happened. When I look back, losing 3-0 at Barcelona in the Champions League last season was the worst result imaginable. When we were preparing for the second leg, my team talk was very straightforward, as opposed to the speech I made for the players before the final against Bayern Munich with Dortmund. There was no Rocky this time. Mostly I talked about tactics, but I also told them the truth. I said, we have to play without two of the best strikers in the world. The world outside is saying it is not possible. And let's be honest, it's probably impossible. But because it's you, because it's you, we have a chance. I really believed that. It wasn't about their technical ability as footballers. It was about who they were as human beings and everything they had overcome in life. The only thing that I added was, if we fail, then let's fail in the most beautiful way. Of course, it's easy for me to say those words. I'm just the guy yelling from the touchline. It's much harder for the players to actually do it. But because of those boys and because of the 54,000 people at Anfield, we did the impossible. The beautiful thing about football is that you can't do anything alone. Anything, believe me. For me, football is the only thing more inspiring than the cinema. You wake up in the morning and the magic was all real. You actually knocked down Drago. It really happened. 